BMW's 2 Series Grand Tourer is a seven-seat compact MPV that offers a classier, more interesting alternative to a conventional Grand C-Max or Grand Scenic-style people carrier. This appealing spin on ordinary family motoring will probably attract a ready audience among people who maybe never thought they'd be buying from this Munich maker. They won't be getting the ultimate driving machine because that's not what they need. Getting instead what may very well be the ultimate small people carrier though will suit them very well indeed. On the move, this 2 Series Grand Tourer model feels a little firmer and sportier than buyers of compact MPVs may be used to. It certainly offers a more rewarding experience if you like your driving, and there's an optional electronic damping system if you want to be able to occasionally prioritise comfort instead. Like most BMWs, this one gets the brand's drive performance control system that enables you to tweak steering feel, throttle response, and with auto transmission, gear shift timings to suit the way that you want to drive. Under the bonnet, the base diesel 216D and petrol 218i variants both borrow one and a half litre three cylinder engines from the mini hatch, the units developing 116 and 136 brake horsepower respectively. Performance in each case is respectable, but we think that most buyers will be more satisfied with the extra pulling power of the 150 brake horsepower 4 cylinder 218D diesel model that we'd recommend. If you need more performance, there's a 190 brake horsepower 220i petrol derivative, or the car that we're trying here, the 190 brake horsepower 220D diesel, a variant also offered with the option of xDrive four wheel drive. Even with this extra traction in place, this top diesel model can still be very frugal, managing 57.6 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 129 grams per kilometre of CO2. You'll be choosing this car because you want a BMW, but you need a people carrier. Those whose priorities lie that way around probably won't mind making a few practical compromises to buy into the Munich Maker's model range. But, as it turns out here, very few are necessary. True, this 7-seat 2-series Grand Tourer isn't sized to regularly accommodate seven adults, but then neither are any of its rivals in the 7-seat compact MPV class. Uh, compare this car against Grand C-Max and Grand Scenic style models rather than bigger Galaxies and Chirans from the next segment up, and practically it stacks up pretty well. That's thanks to a 210mm increase in length and a 15mm increase in height over its already pretty spacious 5-seat 2-series Active Tourer stablemate. Now, though, it's time to see if this Active Tourer model could really cut the mustard in the muddy dog, smelly gym kit and family holiday friendly world of the compact MPV. Could you really live with one? Well, first impressions are encouraging. For a start, you get an electrically operated tailgate as standard, which is pretty rare in this class. Once the hatch rises, you're faced with, well, not a lot if all seven seats are upright. There's just 145 litres of space on offer. But then that is always going to be the case with any car trying to squeeze three rows of seating into just four and a half metres of body length. Much of the time, of course, you're not going to need these two extra chairs and folding them into the floor increases boot space up to 560 litres. Need more room? Well, if the item in question is merely long and thin, like a set of skis, it may suffice merely to flatten the middle part of this 40-20-40 split folding rear backrest. If, though, you really need to supersize your space, then the rear bench drops electronically at the touch of a button to reveal a cargo area that's 1,820 litres in size and delivers you 310 litres more than the comparable Active Tourer model could offer. Switch your focus from packages to people and, by and large, the space provided is equally class competitive. The rear doors open nice and wide. And once inside, there's decent space for three fully sized adults, although they don't get three separate seats in the way that they would in some MPV rivals. For young ones, three universal child seats could clip in side by side. 
Adults, meanwhile, will find that the seat base is split 60-40 and that each segment slides forwards and backwards over well, 130 millimetre range. Now, that means you can either prioritise your legroom or space in the compartment behind you. Plus, in the rearmost possession, you get almost limousine-like standards of stretching space. Let's go up front, which really is the area of this car that we think will sell it to potential buyers. Light, spacious, beautifully appointed, the cabin here offers a level of quality far removed from that of any other compact MPV we've ever tried. As usual in the brand's modern models, the iDrive infotainment setup's freestanding multifunction colour screen takes pride of place in the middle of the fascia, set high enough up um, in the dash to allow you to refer to it without taking your eyes too far off the road. In terms of the driving position, you don't sit quite as high up as you would in some rival mainstream MPVs, but you are still well positioned for a commanding view of the road ahead. Ultimately, this car is all about the democratisation of premium quality. Why should you be denied a prestige badge just because you've a growing family and need seven seats? With a 2 Series Grand Tourer, you don't have to be. OK, it's probably not the BMW ideally wanted back in your college years, but today it may well be the one you actually need. Certainly, if compromises have to be made to suit changes in your life, then this car represents a remarkably pleasant way of making them, creating an MPV you could want from the kind of one you might merely need. And there's something to be said for that. Life happens, but uh, there's no reason why you can't better enjoy the journey.